Earlier today, I came across an interview with Monica Dannemann. Now, for those of you who don't know who Monica was, she was the former fiancé to Jimi Hendrix. And she wrote a book, and it's a really good book. It's called The Inner World of Jimi Hendrix, and she basically talks about Jimi Hendrix and his um, love for music, his love for spirituality and a lot of things that he was trying to do in his music and expressed in, in his music. And I was really moved by this. And I actually had the book. I bought it years ago. And I just kind of want to turn you guys on to this book because um, it is really a beautiful book for many, many reasons. Um, let me show you the cover. This is the cover to the book, The Inner World of Jimi Hendrix. So I don't know if this book is really hard to get now. I haven't checked on Amazon.com, but um, I'm not sure to tell you the truth. Uh, I think it's still in print. I haven't checked because I have the book. <laughs> so that's something you have to check for yourself. But uh, if you can get your hands on this, definitely, definitely get it. It's, it's, it's worth checking out. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the artwork in this book right here. This is the back cover of it. This is one of her paintings right here. And the artwork here is awesome. I know that a lot of times they um, come out with new editions of Jimi Hendrix um, albums or CDs or whatever, you know, with different artwork. And um, hopefully they'll start putting some of her artwork on these CDs because the artwork in this book is just is, is mind-blowing, to tell you the truth. I'm going to show you a couple of them. I won't show you all of them. This is one of the pictures here. It has some really, really cool pictures in here. Let's see if I can find you some of the more outstanding ones. This is a kind of a cool one, too. It's more abstract, Jimi Hendrix. It has a lot of handwritten things that Jimi Hendrix wrote in this book, too. So it's really good for the artwork, and it's really good for... Um, sort of like getting into the mind of Jimi Hendrix, um, the reason why he wrote some of the songs, um, you know, his spirituality and whatever, um, is really worth checking out. Here's another picture. Like I said, the artwork in this book is really, really good. Let's see. Oh, this is a really cool one. I kind of skipped a couple of pages here. Here's another cool picture of Jimi Hendrix. Awesome. It's got the, the purple uh, ring on right there. I guess it's amethyst, purple amethyst ring on. That is really cool. Let me see if I can find another one. The classic picture of Jimi Hendrix burning his guitar, but this is a, in a painting. That's a really cool one there. I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to show you some of them. The ones that kind of stands out. Let's see. This is a really cool one. This is uh, Jimi Hendrix and the Buddha. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. You guys see that? All right, there we go. All right, let's see what else can I show you. So I can show you a couple more really cool pictures of Hendrix. And the thing that's really cool about this is it has a lot of um, handwritten stuff that Jimi Hendrix wrote, I guess, like um, of songs and just uh, like letters and stuff like that that Jimi Hendrix wrote. That is really, really cool. Let's see. This is a nice picture right here. Like I said, she was really an awesome artist, so. I can see why Jimi Hendrix fell in love with her. Let's see. Oh, this is a really cool one. This is this one's kind of small, but I just dig the way it looks. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let me show you guys a couple more. Let's see. Find a really cool one. Oh, for those of you who are fans of the song Machine Gun. Here you go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Alright, a couple more. Let's see. 
Now, this is really cool. This picture is really cool right here. This is Jimi Hendrix playing on top of the White House with a UFO going by. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You guys see that? Uh, uh, sorry about this. It's kind of hard to just put it, ah, it's kind of hard to uh, position this uh, to the camera. Let's see. If I can find a couple more. Oh, and here is a couple of rare pictures of Jimi Hendrix that she took. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Unless I can find one more. Okay, I get, I'll show you guys one more. Let's see. Show it this one. All right, here's one more. <laughs> Rare pictures of Jimi Hendrix. You can see that. All right. As I said before, this is a, a really cool book. Uh, let's see if it has a price on here. Now I bought this years ago, so the price I'm sure has gone up. When I bought it, it was twenty four ninety five. So I'm not sure if this book is out of print. I don't know if you can just get it from England. I don't, I'm not sure if this was made in the United States. Um, so it probably would be a little bit more than twenty four ninety five. So I don't know, but it's definitely worth it. It's worth you know thirty forty dollars. So if I didn't have it, I would buy it again. You know definitely worth checking out those of you who know me personally and you know if you come over I, I'll show you the book you can't borrow it though <laughs> it's too valuable for me to let you, you know, borrow it but um, this is an excellent book and uh, if you don't have it go out and get it if you're a fan of Jimi Hendrix um, I love the book I love Hendrix so if you're a Hendrix fan go out and get it alright until next time love is the law and peace